Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new book review. Um, I hope you guys are doing well in the Vena Nation today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a psychological thriller horror book. Uh, it's called Kiss of Death and it's written by Robert Scoos. I, I hope I'm saying your last name right. Um, it is a Lee true love novel and uh, it's a really interesting read and I actually uh, enjoyed it a lot and I hope you guys will uh, come with me on this journey as we explore what this book is all about so uh, without further ado here is my review of Kiss of Death now as always here is the official synopsis uh, from the book homicide detective Bruno Norcross is called to investigate the brutal murder of a college call girl this isn't just any other crime scene Bruno has seen this scene before only the last time, the killer got away leaving Bruno feeling as though his career is incomplete. Nobody escapes Bruno's grasp twice, and when his nemesis arises again, it's time to bring him in. A serial killer, only known as the Kiss of Death, is back, only this time he made a mistake. A witness, like no other, was left behind and this witness knows the victim better than anyone. Rosie's stalker, Ashley Truelove, knows everything about her, from what she wears to who she sees. The question isn't can Ashley help Bruno catch the killer, but will he? With me meager and confusing clues, two known victims, and time running out, Bruno realizes that the cost of bringing the murderer to justice will be paid in blood. With a police sergeant on his back to catch the killer and provide justice for the death of his daughter, Bruno is racing against time. Kiss of Death only hunts occasionally, and time is running out before he vanishes again. Can Bruno find the evidence to stop him, or will he escape his clutch clutches once again? Now I have to say, as far as plot goes, this was a really, really great story. Um, I really have to give a credit to Robert Scoos here because he seems to have a firm grasp on the psychological thriller genre. Um, there are so many twists and turns galore that um, readers are going to start questioning who they can trust in this book. Uh, everyone in this book has a secret or a darkness residing within themselves and I think that's the main theme of this story is that no one in this world is truly um, without fault and that darkness can reside even in the best of us and sometimes our heroes end up becoming the villains. Um, and that's what this story kind of uh, explores and uh, kind of, you know, questions our preconceived notions about people. I will say that because I want to be helpful and give some uh, helpful critiques here, that the one area of improvement I would recommend for the author would be um, having someone uh, help him out as an editor because there were a few... Uh, grammatical errors that kind of uh, were noticeable. Um, it didn't hinder my enjoyment of the story itself. I will say, however, that the the grammatical errors were quite noticeable, and uh, you know, I think with this author's incredible knowledge of the genre and powerful storytelling ability, he would really benefit from some uh, editing of this book to really make it help shine even brighter than it already does. I loved the character development in this book, however, the, each character was flawed and suffered from sort, some sort of darkness or, or internal flaw that uh, hindered them as the investigation came about. And uh, the story is about how the best of us overcome the darkness um, to uh, become better people in the end. In the end. Um, this was a fun psychological thriller that I do recommend for you guys. Uh, it was a great blend of classic noir storytelling with a 21st century uh, technological spin. And uh, I think that The Hunt for the Kiss of Death is uh, something that you guys will really enjoy. So, if you haven't yet... Make sure you follow the link down below and go pick up your copy of Robert Scoose's Kiss of Death. It's a fantastic thriller that you guys will not be able to put down. Um, 
I give it a 7 out of 10 rating. And yeah, there you guys go. Thank you for watching this video review. In the comments below, let me know what you thought. And what books would you like to see me read next? Uh, you can check out my blog for all my latest book reviews and posts and everything. I just put up a brand new review of a comic book issue as well. Uh, Boy Lord by Nathan Peabody. Um, make sure you guys go check that out. And yeah, that's it. Everyone, thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't done so, that'd mean the world to me if you could subscribe and uh, hit the notification button. That'll give you a notification every single time I upload a brand new video here. And um, yeah, also check out my social media links down below. I'm posting all the time on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, especially now that we are 36 days away from uh, the release of my book, I Was an Evil Teenager Remastered, which you can find links for down below as well. Uh, thanks for hanging with me today, guys. Remember, Avina Nation, keep hashtag hope alive, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new review. Or, I'll see you next time for a brand new review, sorry. Um, yeah, see you then. Long days and pleasant nights, my friends.